quick video of the Y6 LED uh, H4 mini LED uh, car light bulbs with the lens built in. Um, Max series, I got these off eBay, I think they're about £18. Um, I've seen them from anything from £18 to about £25 in the UK delivered. Um, ordered this, came in about three days or so, so pretty quick delivery. Um, it did have one of those grey Chinese bags that it came packed in, so I don't know where it was actually sent from, but it was very quick delivery. So it says fast start, easy installation, low power, high brightness, high beam, show more than father. <laughs> uh, solve the I can't read that. The as, astigmatism problem. That's a new one. I've never heard that word before. Uh, install with original plug and play. Uh, with the invention patents. Practical patent appearance patents. Excellent. Uh, what does it say here? Fast start. Oh, same thing again. Patent design. Easy installation. And a lifespan. That's good. We always need a lifespan. Right. Let's have a look in the box, see what we get. It's a very nice box. And now we're inside the box and we get this nice white glove. I guess that's for taking off the, uh, or taking out the original bowls. Um, but yeah, so a nice white glove. And here's the two units themselves. Um, I have actually already taken these out for a quick look. Um, one thing I will say, a couple of things on my one here. Um, there is a bit of a solder splodge on the uh, cable down here, so just just check the connection when you get yours. In the end, there's quite a quite a fair size lens at the end there. Um, I think this is maybe high beam, and maybe this is dip beam. The one in there, there's there's like two LED chips in here. There's one this side, and there's one the other side. Um, there's like a a fan at the back and this fan does unscrew which I'll show you in a minute um, the only thing I will say about these there doesn't seem to be a way to adjust where the cutoff is so for right hand drive or, ve or left hand drive vehicles there's no way of setting the cutoff you know you get that um, where it kind of illuminates the path it kind of goes up the beam pattern I don't think you can set that on these which may be a problem I'm not too sure um, there's like a ballast here, a, like a ballast box, and this is actually metal, so I guess that could potentially rust. That's where you plug into the original uh, head bolt, uh, headlight, well, the bulb wiring loom. Um, yeah, and this goes in to the H4, these are H4 bulbs, and this goes into the H4 socket. Um, there's a, like a little screw here to adjust the up and down. Um, so I guess, I mean, normally you adjust that with the actual lens, the actual headlamp itself. So I don't know why you need that, but I guess it's nice to have just to make them both the same. Um, I have actually already taken this cover off just to see if there's anything underneath here to adjust the beam cut off. But there doesn't seem to be. So I think they are fixed beam. We'll have a look at the beam pattern in a minute. Um, and yeah, that... Uh, that heat sink or heat 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 sink of a fan does actually unscrew. So when you unscrew it, there's like a little power outlet here and a thread, and then you got the uh, the fan here. So that's quite nice. It's quite nice how that screws in and makes connection. Yeah, quite good. Right, so we'll test these um, outside of the car lens. Um, I will do a follow up video later just to show you what they're like at night um, but I thought we'd do it now to see what they look like um, <clears throat> I am in my conservatory here so we are in full daylight at the moment um, I've got a car battery uh, which is currently charged to 12.4 roughly volts I've got a clamp meter so we can see how much current these things draw um, at the back here try and get my wiring so ground is on the uh, left here and then dip beam and then full beam on this side so let's plug it in and see what happens well okay so 
I will say that is really bright. Very, very bright. Um, it's a weird beam pattern. It kind of, has, there is kind of a ridge there. If you can see, if I put it in the middle of the seat there, you can see like a little ridge. And I'm trying to hold this level as I can. And I think that does dip off to the right. So I'm guessing this is intended for right-hand drive cars, which is good for the UK. I'm in the UK at the moment, right-hand drive car, obviously. That does seem to dip down. So obviously oncoming traffic isn't going to get blinded. And then this side on the left uh, does appear to be quite flat. So I'm guessing they sent the right-hand drive, which is good. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm in daylight here. It's the middle of the day almost. That is very bright. I will say that. Very, very bright. Um, it's a very nice kind of... You see that blue colour there? And it kind of... If I actually look at it, it's kind of... You, you kind of see that rainbow effect. So, yeah, that's amazingly blue. It's so incredible, actually. There's like, I can see purple and green there. But, yeah, that's a... A very sharp cut off definitely very good um, so let's see how much power we're drawing so we've got 12 volts and we're drawing 2.1 amps so I guess we can work out what the uh, wattage is later I can't do that in my head <laughs> um, but yeah nice cut off does seem very very even in daylight as I say very nice Right, and I've just put the cable on the high, on what I think is the high beam side. And what we've got now is actually, hang on, let me just stop the video a minute. Yeah, so sorry about that, I just had to check something. So what I've done now is I've put the cable on the high beam side, and what we've got, we've still got the dip beam, but we've got the underneath, I'll, this will probably swamp out the camera. Yeah, but you can just about see it there. The bottom LED is also lit, so we've got both LEDs lit now. So I guess once this is in an actual car housing, you'll get like a proper full beam. At the moment, I can obviously only see the dip beam because that's coming through the lens. But the, the, the bottom bit here is also really bright, so that will obviously give you full beam. So yeah, that's quite nice. So when you, when you fit these, you know, like on a normal H4, you get either high beam or low beam. Well, on these, you get both. So when you switch to high beam, you, you keep the dip beam, but you also get high beam as well. So you get like double the, the output, I suppose. And if we look now, we're now drawing still 12 volts and 2.9 amps, roughly. So it's not double the power, or current draw, I should say, um, but very near it. Well, yeah, <laughs> another amp, let's say. <clears throat> yeah, so that's quite nice. Yeah, so as I was saying, when you go on high beam, this is the high beam LED here, this one here, and then the dip beam is obviously behind here. Um, even in that few short seconds I was showing you the output, the light output there, this is quite warm. I'm holding this and it's definitely warm. Um, the fan was spinning all the time when I was doing that demo, so the fan's like permanently on when the lights are on. This is quite warm. How warm is this? Yeah, that's quite... It's definitely quite warm. It was only on for like a couple of minutes, and uh, it's got quite warm. This is all aluminium. This, this housing here, even this end bit here, is all aluminium, and it's all very warm. So, yeah, they definitely run at... Uh, a fairly high temperature you definitely need that fan I would say because I can feel these fins here and they're quite warm so yeah I'm quite impressed um, obviously you haven't actually put them in the car yet but just checking them here in the conservatory in the daylight or well it is actually raining outside at the moment but it's, it's daylight as it can be in the UK um, yeah it's quite warm this box here cool, that's, that's quite warm as well that's very warm in fact yeah, so I don't know what's going on inside here, um, but that's really warm. So yeah, I'd recommend, if you can maybe, put this somewhere where there's some um, 
you know, airflow. You don't want to, yeah, you wouldn't want to, um, you know, put this inside a housing or something because it, it's definitely quite warm. So it'd be interesting to see how hot this actually gets and how, how long these actually last. Um, but yeah, so far, quite impressed, quite impressed. Quick uh, comparison here to a normal H4 bulb. So this is the LED, this is a normal H4. As you can see, <laughs> it's quite a bit bigger. It sticks out a fair bit further. Um, yeah. There you go, there's just a comparison for size. And here's a quick uh, brightness comparison. Obviously there's there's no fixed beam here with this normal standard halogen bulb. So I can't really show you the beam pattern obviously. But the current draw, yeah, I mean that's on dip beam. That's using nearly 4 amps. Still at 12 volts, 4 amps. So this is obviously using considerably more power and getting very, very hot. So I'm going to have to stop the video now because it's getting so hot I can barely hold it. So just to finish then, um, I did a quick calculation of how much, how many watts these actually are. So here's my figures. Um, they're going to be approximate. 12.1 volts. Uh, on dip beam it is drawing 2.4 amps, which equates to 29 watts, which, has, which is actually what it said on the uh, listing. So it's quite accurate. Let's say 30 watts. Uh, high beam, obviously both LEDs running. 3.2 amps at 39, so let's say 40 watts. So that is uh, equivalent to what it said on the listing, which is quite good. Um, so yeah, uh, my next job then is to get these fitted in the car, and when I've done that, um, I'll probably post uh, a follow-up video once they're actually fitted. So thank you for watching.